welcome, friends. It is I, your host, Oscar, and it's time for another game of Assault, and we are hell, so we're screwed. And we're teamed up with On Her, which is Jinx, Poseidon, which is somebody, Hornbitch, which is somebody else, and Athena, who's another person. And we are up against, hold on a second, we are up against Aphrodite, Neath, Kronos, Fenrir, and Bastet. So we have people who can do a good job of killing me, so that's not good. They also have a healer in Aphrodite. Hmm, our advantages are we have a Poseidon. Unbets is kind of cool, Athena's good. Oh, we have a tank, we have Athena. Okay, so, we actually have the advantage here. Alright. We will see how this goes. So, I am hell, there's two ways to play about it. Super aggressive killer, or not super aggressive killer. Now, we have all these interesting items we can get. Now, is Shard in here? Probably is. Where is Shard? There is... What the... Where is Shard? Nope, Shard's not in here. Shell's in here. Hmm. But, yeah, okay, okay, so Shard is not in... Assault. Now, I've been away for a while. You're gonna notice I am out of my depth right now. The reason for that is a very simple reason. I've been at Comic-Con every single day it's been open. I've been working the con, and I am tired as balls. But we are here, and we are awesome. Hopefully. Alright, so I'm making this video coming off of a very, very exhausting comic con. Been on my feet 16 hours a day for four days. Dear God, why do I have legs now? Why do I even have legs? Okay, so here we go. So we're going to be healing it up. We got meditation to help us with the mana. These guys are all teamed up, so that's kind of cool. Now, my biggest worry, of course, is Bastet. My second biggest worry is Neath, and then Kron then Fenrir. Okay, wait. Bastet, Fenrir are my biggest worries. Then there's Neath. After that, it's Kronos, then Aphrodite the last. Wherever Bastet is, I have to be very careful. Wherever Fenrir is, I have to be very careful. But if I can make Fenrir regret coming after me, that'll be even better. So the plan is, make Fenrir regret coming after me, and beating the ever-living crap out of Bastet. Hmm. But we'll see how this goes. We do have the advantage of having a tank who can soak up some damage. We also have the advantage of having me as a super healer, like so. There we go. Our disadvantage... Okay, that's, that's actually okay with a step and attack. Not, not really major there. I can heal on her again, negating everything they just did. They, oh, they do have an Aphrodite who can negate some of the damage that, they do, that we do to them, but not as on the scale that we can do it. Hmm. Right now it's a back and forth, we're feeling each other out. Right now we have them pushed back pretty good. I think it's because of our clearing potential compared to them. They have more singular stuff. Now let's set alt potential. Now there's a there's a big disadvantage they have is that our alt potential is way better than theirs. They have singular alt potential. We have giant group killing for alt potential, honestly. I gotta I gotta heal up Athena when I get the chance. Oh no, she got grabbed. I gotta heal her, I gotta heal her. Healed her, there you go. Now let's get this Fenrir down. Fenrir goes out. Oh no, Fenrir survives. I gotta go heal up. Oh no, I think I got killed. Shoot. That Fenrir should have died. Unfortunately, failed to kill him. But we'll be okay. We'll just keep healing these guys up and then we'll take him out eventually. Someone, of course, needs to go over there and harass him. Uh, away from uh, Aphrodite. I'll heal up. I'll be fine. That cat's not gonna kill me. What I should have done is done a 3 1 combo on Bastet's cats, but I wasn't thinking about it and I screwed that up on myself. Now I gotta see if I can save. On her, saving on her, there we go, heal them up. Meditating myself, there we go, we're okay. They have better singular kills, we have better group killing. That's for dang sure, we have a lot of potential for that. Now it's a pretty strong, uh, whoops, that's a pretty strong Kronos strike there. He's doing a good job so far. He's gonna hit pretty hard for a while, I'm sure about that. But we'll, we'll be alright. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Athena comes in, she does some good damage there, healing her up again. The sustainability for me being hell is pretty dang good, so... Oh, so we should be actually in a very sweet position. I just gotta keep healing the team and we'll be alright. Like so. There we go. Hmm. So we're gonna have them pushed back for a long time. The, what? Oh shoot. Our big weaknesses, if we just get a bunch of us killed, their weaknesses, we have a bunch of ways to kill them, actually. So... I honestly... I don't know how this is gonna go. I really feel like we have the edge as long as we don't get, uh complacent and make mistakes. As long as we don't make any dumb mistakes, we'll be alright. I'm going back over here. Let's see. Does anyone need a heal? No one really needs a heal, but I'm going to heal everybody. There you go. Everyone is at full. 
There's a cat here. She's hitting me, not really doing much though. She didn't, she didn't do her two on me. That two is kind of crucial. You need to jump over, do your two, and then your three, and then jump back. Or do your ult if you can as soon as you can. Healing everyone again. Looking pretty good right now. Oh, there's a cat there. Oh, look at how useless those cats were. Oh, so useless. Oh, no. Honor got caught, though, so let's just heal this Athena a second. Healing Athena. Ah, he got me. Oh, no, I got myself loose, but I got killed anyway because of the dubs. So let's see, I got taken out, but that's perfectly fine. Let's see, a cooldown reduction is what I need to get right now. There we go. Let's see here, 1100 is what I need. I'll get that soon enough. For now, they have the edge and their singular killing potential. They have, they have the good early. We're going to have the strong late because of our giant AoE potential. Because we have Athena's ult, which will do a crap ton of damage later on. Poseidon's ult, which will do a crap ton of damage later. And Hoonbet's ult, which will silt set things up. Now, they have the potential of killing and how strong their abilities are at early on. Bastet's really strong early. Fenrir is really strong early. Kronos is actually strong throughout, but we'll see how this goes. Honored money got a double kill. Very nice on them. I gotta try to heal them before it's too late. Healing them. Trying to get... There, I put beads on them. They should be fine. Down goes Kronos. There we go. So we're looking uh, pretty good right now. Hitting Neath for a little bit. Slowing her down. Gonna use this heal on my teammates. There we go. Going back out there. Throwing another one down on Neath. There we go. Hit her. Getting this up. Let's see here. Who needs a heal? On her needs a heal. So we're gonna heal him up. With cooldown reduction, I can, of course, spam these abilities more often, which will be very helpful in the future. See her summons. Yep, go straight for that. Bastet beat the crap out of her a little bit. Now I gotta heal myself before it's too late. Heal him as well. Healing up on her. There we go. Healing off of the... No, oh, no, they're gone already. Now the cat shouldn't be able to jump yet, so the cat should die. Yep, on her does a very good job of destroying the cat. We're gonna kill but Neath. Oh, no. Neath gets away just in time. I'm gonna finish her off. Using meditation to get more heal. Meditation is really great on hell because she just has so much uh, abilities to use. And then, she, of course, healing herself with meditation. So it works out very well. Definitely better than uh, salvation, I think. Another heal for on her there. There we go. We're looking very nicely right now. Just got to keep mindful of my, uh, my abilities right now. I got to remember my cooldowns and I should be fine. As long as I keep my cooldowns low, or at least remember when they come up, I should be able to keep my team well healed and very close to victory. Right now, we have them pushed back very hard. Oh, shoot. So we have a good chance here. Speed up on this Fenrir here really quick. Healing up on her now. Well, as soon as I can. There's a heal on, on her right there. There we go. You can say it is unfair in uh, how we have the strong heal out of hell, but they do have an Aphrodite. And also, they have a strong early game. We have a strong late game. If they can utilize the early game, they could turn things down pretty bad for us, really. But right now, they're not able to pull that off, and that's really great. Beating up on him, he dies right there. There we go. Fenrir took too long fighting us. Gotta heal up everyone I can. There we go. Finishing up. Oh, no. Kronos does his ult, so he survives. Keeping on her. Uh, beaded for now. Oh, gotta go heal him up before he gets killed. There we go. Okay, we can get Kronos now. Hit, hit him? Ah, no, he uses meditation. Forget what I said. Oh, no. I don't have a heal for four seconds. I should be able to save on uh, on her here. And I did. Oh! Took a shot for on her. That was perfect right there. Just in time. That would have been a very dead honor if he got caught. Luckily, he was not caught and he survived. And here comes Bastet to do some damage. I don't know if I have enough to heal. No, I have enough. I'm good. Neath just did her ult, so I don't have to worry about that. I just need meditation to come up in a few seconds, and it will. Just gotta heal everyone. Two seconds, and I can do meditation. There it is. Meditation is up. There we go. Five seconds, and I can heal everyone again. Athena's doing her job. She held them up. Now Athena gets stunned, but that doesn't mean anything. Healing up on her and them. There we go. More heals going. We are pushed back right now, but we're doing plenty good damage right now. Shoot. He gets away. Kronos uh, got taken out. Honor got taken out. Healing there. Everyone was low, as for sure, but we're still in a good position here. They have us pushed back, but everyone is now able to buy things so they can cause more trouble later on. Now I'm going to run in here, do a little bit of mayhem right there, do a bunch of damage there, hit everyone really hard on that push right there. Going out to go, oh shoot, can we save Athena? I don't know if we can. No, Athena gets taken out. On her goes in, gets a kill though, good job on him. Now I'm going to die because I went in too deep. 
There's no way away from that one. I got taken out. Get this really quick. Let's see here. How many physicals do I have? One, two, three. That three physicals still. So one of absolution is what I'm going to get. So let's get that really quick here. 9.30 for the last piece of all absolution. And let's see here. Okay, so now they're going to hit our tower. They're going to take out our tower, most likely. Let's see if they can stop them. Poseidon has his ult, so we might be able to do some damage, but not enough to kill anyone, so he shouldn't waste it. He went and wasted it, but luckily that's a dead Fenrir. Oh, Fenrir gets away? Yep, Fenrir gets away. That's a shame. Let's see. One, two, three for me. Going on out. Athena's doing her own. I don't know if she's jumping to, though. Or if she's jumping, hopefully does some damage. And... Well, they got someone. I wonder if that was from her landing or not. Moving on out over there. Maybe her landing did enough damage, or she got the kill with that. But either way, Bastet is now dead. We have lost a tower, but that is because, of course, they have the advantage of their ADs compared to us. But we will turn it around soon enough. I'm confident of that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and heal on her. Heal him. Get that get that Fenner off of him. Let's see here. Slow them up a little bit. Let's see here. Hmm. Aggressiveness coming in. There we go. Hit them. Hit them again. Oh, messed up. Hit them again. Now I'm just going to heal myself really quick. There it is. He grabbed... Who did he grab? He went ahead and grabbed... Hunbats. Hunbats is fine. Hunbats is okay. Hunbats totally gets away. Now I got to go heal him up. I got to go heal him up. Hunbats, get back here. Come on. Let me heal you. There we go. Heal the Hunbats. On her needs a heal. Let's see if I can protect him. Yep, Neath goes down. She went. She got way too greedy going for on her and just got killed for it. Let's see her go ahead and put this on people. Looks like uh, she missed. We're gonna go after the cat when she hops. Oh no, Cronus has got himself in a bad position. Cronus gets destroyed very nice there. Now it's time to just heal the team while they take out a tower. So this is gonna be fine. Cat hits me, but that's perfectly fine. I'm gonna. I can. I can suck it up. It's fine. We're gonna take this out. There we go. More heals for the team here. There we go. We're getting pretty strong here. One tower goes down. The longer this match goes, the worse off the other team will be. They need to be, we'll finish it as quickly as they can, as effectively as they can. Because right now it is just trying to fight a trying to fight a wave, and this wave is just climbing on them. It really is. Whoops! I hit the wrong button there. Let's get this one. Heal these guys some more. There we go. Yeah, more heals for the team. Just keep the heals up for the team. We'll be fine. Doing a fine job as hell right now. I have, I'm going 227 right now, but I am healing up a storm. I almost have as much gold as the top person, which is good. Someone's calling retreat. Athena's calling retreat. Let's go ahead and go back then. Give some heals to the team. There we go. Hmm. Right, let's get ready for the slow. Yeah, we take out one or two people, then we can go after the Minotaur, it looks like. And we get him now. He does have his ult though, so it'll be tough going after this at Chrono. So just hitting everyone I can. I'm getting hurt a little bit, but I'm completely in Oh crap, coming in, coming in. Uh, landed on Bastet on that one. Doing some good damage, but nothing ferocious. Oh crap, almost got caught on that one. Throwing us out there, hitting them all. Getting pretty aggressive here, but I'm doing it because I know I can. Just gotta heal myself up. Oh no, I got caught while healing. Gonna do my do this. Surviving that. Surviving a lot of things coming my way. Now I gotta heal myself up again. Using myself up as a really ridiculous bait, but it's working out. Go ahead and throw this out there. Hit them. There we go. Heal up some more. I'm gonna heal myself up some more with my team. There we go. Going after hell can be a red herring if you don't do it correctly. This is a very dead bestet. In one, two. Oh, I missed it. Okay, gonna do this really quick. Doing that, getting them out of the stone. I'll take care of Bastet soon enough if I don't get the kill. Someone will. Kronos goes down. Bastet's healed up, so she's not going to die to me. She dies to Poseidon. There we go. Throwing this out there. This is a bit of a run over all of a sudden. I thought it would take longer, but we are doing a good job here. Going after her a little bit on accident. Hurting her. Didn't mean to. Got to heal myself up. Beat birds around me. Healed up on that. Alright, I could kill with the AoE. Doing the AoE, she's dead. There we go. Doing that. Uh, heal off the Minotaur if I can. I'll do a three first, now heal off the Minotaur. Now we need to run away. I failed that one. I'm gonna go back now. Oh, minions here. Do that, do that. Now I'm gonna die on the way back now. We're not strong enough to kill the Minotaur yet. We're just strong enough to kill everything else. So just keep healing myself. 
30 seconds on meditation. Oh, we're just gonna keep running. She's using me to run. So there we go. Me running in there would have been pretty bad. Now in 20 seconds, I'll be I'll be perfectly fine. Just waiting out over here. Honor's coming back. Poseidon's got about 20 seconds left on him. We're in a very strong position here. That's a dead uh, Fenner right there. Five seconds on me. Yeah, this is this is just getting really away from them. The only way they're going to beat us is if we get really dumb, and I don't think we're going to get dumb about this match. doesn't look like it. If we were dumb, we would have died at the Minotaur, and we would have lost the match at that point. But we haven't done that, so I think we're playing pretty competent here, so we'll be fine. But only time will tell if I am wrong. I say no. I say I'm not wrong. There. Cronus is going to do his ult, which means he's going to come back over here. No, he didn't do his ult. I'm surprised by this. Took another bullet for honor on that one. That is a mostly dead looking cat. Let's see if we can take her out. After we hit Cronus a little bit. No, nope, couldn't finish him off. He's hitting me a little bit right now, but I'll heal it back right now. There it is. Doing this as well. Hitting that Neath for some damage. They're getting pretty hurt now. There's three people who can die to one AOE from me, but I gotta do some healing right now. There it is. Poseidon gets a heal there. Now I can take out Kronos in one shot. I just need the I need the opportunity for it. There's the opportunity. Hit him. Hitting her there. There we go. Got them both. Took them both out very, very well and accurately on that shot. Healing up. There we go. Double kill for me is what happened. There's a Fenrir there. Let's see that. Reinforcements on the way. Gonna hit, do this for myself and come on in. Heal up. Honor's getting caught a little bit. Fenrir is the one that's in trouble though. Fenrir jumps away. Now the Minotaur's on me, which means I'm going to die in a second. No, I got away. Holy crap, I got away. But I gotta heal myself up before it's too late. And heal off of the minions a second. They're still fighting over there. I have a lot of healing to do before I have a chance here. I almost have 6,000 gold though. Let's get over here and heal up a teammate while we're here. There you go, healing up a bunch of people. Oh, we should heal off of the, the Minotaur with our one. There you go, healing off the Minotaur there. Putting this on our teammates. Healing up Hoonbats, there we go. Oh, Hoonbats is still in trouble. Doing AoE there. Hmm, who's still out there? Oh, Honor's out there. Let's go ahead and back out on her back up on her while they while we can. Keep him alive. There we go, healing off of Neath. There we go, everyone looks fine. Now I just gotta heal these two up when I get the chance, which will be in a moment right now. There we go. So doing a very good job as hell right now. Athena will be up in 30 seconds. When she does, she'll be alting out to someone, whoever she alts to. It's up to them to take the risk of doing some damage. Now we can kill that Bastet right now if we catch if we get a good shot at her. It'll be a 2-3 combo. Oh, she's ready to snipe, stand in the way of honor. Standing in the way of honor to protect honor just in case. Nope, she doesn't get the snipe in. Making sure everyone is not low so she shouldn't go she doesn't go for the snipe. There we go, another heal for the team. Really want to kill that Bastet. Now there's a weave there, so we just gotta be careful of it. See if we can taunt it a little bit. I think you want to use it. No, she doesn't use it. Athena's going to Hunbats. There they go. They got caught, but healing them up. There we go. Okay, Bastet got healed back thanks to Athena on that one. Now we're going to go ahead and get him here. Do an AoE shot. Doing a lot of damage here. There we go. Very nice combination there. He's got to do his ult if he wants to survive that Kronos over there. Kronos doesn't do his ult. Which, of course, would have put him in a bad position, but I'm surprised he didn't do it anyway because he is pretty beat up right now. There it is. There's his ult. Now he's in a good spot over there to get away. Going after Neath though, hitting her pretty hard here. Haven't finished off Neath, but doing a, making progress towards it. And she's down, there we go. Now let's go ahead and heal the team. There we go, team is healed, Minotaur is up. But it's getting beat the hell down right now. We should be able to finish it off, it should be over now. There it is, that's the game. We are done, all right. I think we did a pretty damn good job as hell in this one. And we also have 7,000 gold. And we also have eight kills. Oh, crap. Damn. Well, then, we did a pretty damn good job with hell now, didn't we? All right, GG to the other team. There we go. So there we go. Let's see. We're going 8 2 14. On her, we did 4 4 19. Hunbet 7 3 12. Athena 3 4 22. Poseidon 9 3 16. Now, uh, it was going back and forth at the start, and then they started to take it away from us, but once we came back, we were able to just completely rip it away from them and just completely win the match. And I think, yeah, that's what was going to happen. 
But the reason for that is just because of the way the ma these teams were designed. These are more singular ki uh, singular killers, while we are more of a group killer group. The chance for them to win came uh, it has to be done by just fighting and killing very early, taking out the team early, and then taking out their towers and getting to Minotaur. It's perfectly doable. I've seen a team like this win at 10 minute mark, even shorter than that, by just going in and just taking out the Minotaur. But this team wasn't able to do it, and the longer the match went, the stronger we got because of all the damage we have. We have Poseidon's big AoE ult, Athena's big AoE ult, Hunbet's AoE to set things up. Honor is just plain damaging, and the longer we go, the more equipment Honor gets to just have even more damage with their stats. And then Hell, of course, can be a force to reckon with all over the place, and this one was a, he a healing one, but I was able to get some good kills in, as you can see with 8 to 14. Other team, that Kronos was pretty effective, but he only got 2 kills, 11 assists, and 6 deaths. He was doing a good job of not getting killed all that much, but he still got killed a lot, so... I don't know. No, I liked what he was doing, but I guess it wasn't good enough, because he died a lot. Neath was pretty solid, she did take some time to take out. Fenner was good at the start, and then he fell apart. Bastet was not patient enough. If Bastet took uh, better jumping opportunities with 2 and 3 combo, and ulting at better times, I think they'd get a lot more kills than they got. Aphrodite did a solid job. She got 5-5-8 five, five, while healing up her team. She got Bastet the full. She was healing people up as much as she could. She did a good job there. Stats for everyone to look at. 41,000 heal. Damn. That's double what Aphrodite was doing. And that's not a surprise considering mine's a big AoE heal. Alright, well, we did a pretty good job there. So that is the game. And, well, we had fun. Hope you have fun watching, and that's what it's all about, isn't it? Having fun. Thanks for coming by, and see you next time.